Danielle Salinas, the man who came so close to becoming Sunland Park's mayor, was back in court today for his third set of criminal charges. The district attorney also revealed today that Salinas could have powerful and dangerous friends who helped him carry out his dirty deals. News 13's Katie Kim is in the news place. Dean Salinas has been able to pay the 55 grand he needed to bail out of jail the last two times he's been arrested. The DA's office tried to keep Salinas's bond at $1 million because her office now believes he may be linked to a Mexican cartel. The list of charges against Sunland Park's Daniel Salinas keeps getting longer and longer. He was in court again today. This time, accused of using city money as his own slush fund. But today, new accusations from District Attorney Amy Orlando. That is what we are hearing: is that Mr. Salinas has ties to the drug cartel. We actually had a, a witness that left their own home and, and went and stayed someplace else because they were so afraid of Mr. Salinas and his contacts. The DA's office argued Salinas is dangerous and tried to keep him behind bars on a $1 million bond. Salinas' attorney said that was, quote, unreasonably excessive, saying the DA has no evidence that Salinas is linked to the Mexican mafia. That is ludicrous. I mean, they haven't received, they haven't given any indication of that. Salinas pleaded not guilty to date to charges of fraud and demanding illegal kickbacks. Investigators believe late last year, Salinas, who was the interim mayor at the time, used money that was supposed to go towards a border crossing in Sunland Park on his mayoral campaign and to live it up while on an official trip to Mexico, a trip that included frequent visits to strip clubs and brothels. Those charges are on top of allegations that Salinas tried to force rival Gerardo Hernandez out of last month's mayoral race with a racy video. Police say Salinas paid an operative to bring a stripper in from Mexico and to record Hernandez getting a lap dance. Hernandez also told me tonight he's on edge feeling threatened. Hernandez believes people have been prowling around his house when he's not there, but he says he's not sure if Salinas's people are behind it. Back to you. All right, Katie, thank you. The DA says the investigation into Salinas is not over yet. Her office is still looking into three city departments, including the local MVD. She expects to file more charges against Salinas in the next few